Good morning, everybody. In this episode, we're going to talk about renaming, moving, and copying files, as well as a lot of important things you should know about it so you don't mess up everything. And I did want to give a special thank you and shout out to this book here, the Linux command line, which I'm going to go over most of the options they listed here. And this was a good help for most of this course as well. So shout out to them if you're interested in some reading material. So let's just jump into the commands. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to create a couple of files. So I'm going to touch two files, important and junk. So hit enter and you can see these files exist right here. So the first command is MV or move. However, this is also used to rename stuff. So for example, if we wanted to rename junk to something like junk2, <laughs> very creative I know. Well now, junk no longer exists and junk2 does exist. It's the same exact thing, it's just renamed to junk2. But let's go ahead and put that back to how it was, as so. So now that's what it looks like. Now here's what I want to do. I want to put some stuff in these files. So we're going to say important stuff and we're going to put that inside of important. And then we're going to say not important stuff and we're going to put that inside of junk. And I'm doing this silly demonstration to illustrate a dangerous point with this command. If we look at our files now, we have junk and let's say we decide that, hey, you know, the stuff inside of junk is actually pretty important. I'm going to rename it to important. So what we could do is we could say move junk and change that to important. The problem is it's actually going to overwrite this file here. And to show you that, I'm going to teach you a new command here, which is cat. And this will actually display the file content in line. This is different than less, which actually opens like a new interactive session. So we'll say cat junk and cat important. And now what I want to do is I want to say rename junk to important. Hit enter. When we say ls, now we only have this important file. And when we look at the content, well, it was the content from the junk file. So one of the challenges of the terminal is that it usually doesn't give you warnings. You know, if you delete something, it's gone. If you rename something, it'll overwrite the other file. So you have to be very careful so you don't um, get fired or something like that. So what is the solution to this? Well, just double check before you actually do something. And also you can add a different option to prompt you if you want to overwrite something. So to illustrate that, what I want to do is I want to change the important file back to junk and then I want to touch important. So now we have our original junk file and we have this new important file which is currently empty. And what we can do is we can say move junk into important but add a, an option here of hyphen I for interactive. And this will prompt you anytime you're going to overwrite something. Do you want to overwrite important? Oh no, I forgot. Important's actually uh, an important file. I don't, I don't want to delete that. It's like my resume or something. So I'm going to hit no. And now we can see that important is preserved. And we still have the original junk and the original important. Now there's two more variations I want to show you for this command. The first one is moving multiple files into a new location. And then the second one is actually renaming directories. So let's go ahead and try this out. What we're going to do is we're going to move the junk file and the important file. And we're going to put this inside of a directory, what is called files. So this is the setup. Basically you list out all of the files you want to move and then you end with the directory you want to put it in. The thing here though is that this directory has to already exist. So you see when I hit enter it says files is not a directory. So what we can do is we can say mkdir files and then reissue that command. Now when we ls we should have this files directory and we can see what's inside of it with ls files and we see that there is important and junk. So consider this a continual list where you can just add in as many files as you want and then you end with the directory. 
Now, if instead of a bunch of files here, you actually wanted to work with a directory, then it's going to work just like as if you're working with files. So we would say MV files, and we could move this to something like docs. So that's going to, whoops, accidentally messed that up. So that's going to rename it to docs. So this works exactly the same way as when we were working with files. If you remember just saying like MV junk to important, well now we're saying MV files to docs. So the only time that directory has to exist is when you're moving multiple files into a directory. Let's go ahead and move those files into the working directory. So to do this, I'm not going to change our directory. I'm going to do it all relative. So let's uh, clear the screen here and we'll take a look at the files. So we'll say MV docs slash important and then docs slash junk. So we grab both of those files and now we say the destination directory, which we can just use the dot for the working directory. Hit enter, ls. You can see we move those files over into this directory here. And then when we ls into the docs directory, there's nothing there. Okay, so that was a lot of little things. Basically, the summary is if you want to move a file, you just put the starting name and the destination name. You can include a path there too if you want to move from one location to another. You can also think of moving, when you're doing a rename, as just moving the file to the same directory and possibly giving it a new name. It's another way to think about it. That's the first thing. The next thing is if you want to move multiple files, then you'll put all the files and then end with a directory that is already in existence. Renaming directories works the same way as renaming files. You will just start with the current directory name and then put the new directory name. Now there is also the copy command, which is CP. This is gonna work pretty similarly. The only difference is that it's not going to remove the original file. So for example, we could say important, junk and we're going to put that in the docs directory so now when we say ls docs you can see those files exist there and when we say ls you can see they exist in the working directory as well now one thing is if you say ls hyphen l you can see timestamps here and if we do the same exact thing for the files in the docs directory we can see that these have a newer timestamp than these here. And sometimes this is important as you can actually set options to not copy files unless they're a newer version. And that is just an option you can add into the command. And we're gonna show that process in the next video. So stay tuned for that. We're going to basically continue the discussion on move and copy. So thank you for watching. I'll see you then.